In this work, we propose CocoSnet for exemplar-based image translation. This is a joint work by USTC and the Microsoft Research Asia. Image translation has been extensively researched. However, most methods suffer from two limitations. First, the translation may lack fine-grained controllability. Second, when things become complex, intensive artifacts may occur. To solve these problems, we propose CocosNet, which translates the image according to a user-given example. The network utilizes the texture from the exemplar and generates the output with the similar details. Our method is a general solution and can be applied to various tasks. Previous example-based methods can be classified into three categories. External image style can be embedded into the latent space or be characterized with add-in parameters. Also, a style discriminator may be employed, which examines whether the input pairs follow the same style. Instead, we propose to establish the dense correspondence for cross-domain images and then learn the translation based on it. However, we do not have the labeling for these two tasks. To solve this, we assume that these tasks help each other. A good correspondence helps improve the translation, while a high-quality translation requires a meaningful correspondence. In this way, the CocoSnet solved the correspondence learning with weak supervision and improved the translation quality at the same time. Given an input and exemplar from the domain A and B, we first align them into a shared space. Then we compute the correspondence in this shared domain. In this way, we can obtain the warped exemplar image whose patches are weighted sum of the corresponding patches based on the correlation. This warped image can be seen as a rough translation estimate. Finally, we use the translation subnet to synthesize the final output. The style of the warped exemplar is represented by the denormalization parameters, which is further injected into the normalization layer. Note that in this work, both the normalization statistics and denormalization parameters are spatially variant so that the style of different locations can be precisely modulated. To train the translation subnet, we construct the pseudo-exemplar pairs, that is, we can make use of the paired image and then apply the geometric augmentation. The desired translation output is the original domain B image. Besides, given an arbitrary exemplar image, we use contextual loss to ensure the style similarity. This loss attracts the feature of the output to the neighboring feature of the exemplar. We use high-level VGG feature, which represents semantics, so this loss can drive the output mimic the appearance of the exemplar. Besides, we also use the perceptual loss and the adversary loss to make the output realistic. We compare the CocoSnet with state-of-the-art method. We perform three tasks, segmentation mask to image, edge to face, and key points to body synthesis. Our method produces much fewer artifacts and reduces the R-value score significantly. Besides, our method matches the example style with clearly better fidelity. On the challenging ADE 20K dataset, the CocoSnet produces high image quality. Even complex structures such as furniture can be well synthesized. On the Celebrity A dataset, we generate faces from the face parsing or edge map and utilize different references to control the output. Our method can be applied to human body generation, still we achieve state-of-the-art performance. In addition to the quality improvement, the CocoSnet learns the cross-domain correspondence. This is the first time to learn semantically meaningful correspondence for, cro for cross-domain images, and this learning is suitable for multiple sparse representations. All of this is achieved in a weekly supervised manner. We prepared a demo for user interactive painting. The interface can let a user to choose the reference or automatically retrieve from the database. 
user can synthesize high-quality landscape with convenient style control. If we use the image itself as the reference and modify this semantic layout, we can achieve image editing. In this example, we replace the art painting on the wall to a window. Remove the table on the left side of the table and scale the bed a little bit larger. Our method can even transfer the makeup stroke. User can use the Photoshop to manually draw the makeup brushes for a portrait. And then, thanks for the learned correspondence, these user edits can be transferred to a bunch of face images. The makeup, such as the eye shadow, can be precisely ap applied to other faces with natural looking. Our method has potential to more applications, and we wish to explore more in the future. Thank you for watching.